Thanks to Juniper, now he's lost yardage. And Tuck is playing hardball. Marcellus has the takeaway. He's down to the five yard line. But Arlo steals the ball and marches up the field. This puppy bowl is full of turnovers. Marcellus has the ball now, and he's heading to the other goal line. But Arlo's playing safety and stops the drive. Let's check it out on the Q cam. Ruff's Apollo and Fluff's Ginkgo are fired up and going paw to paw just outside of the red zone. It's a slow developing play, but now Dwight has a toy and a golden opportunity. He waits for an opening, sees it, and he high steps his way into the end zone. Oh my goodness. Touchdown, Dwight. You can let go of the ball now. <laughs> you can see how Ruff's Apollo masterfully seals the edge with that block, taking Roddy McSkinko completely out of the play and giving Dwight a clear path to the end zone. This. Bellamo is spinning Tank in circles. He's executing his signature swipe move, Sage. Tank better watch himself here. And Bellamo dumps Tank right into the water bowl. I don't care where you come from. That is disrespect. You can hear the rough fans are upset with the no call. And it looks like Tank is headed for the sidelines after that dominant display by Bellamo. Bellamo continues to throw his weight around. Now from the back of Ruff's end zone. But you know he's got his eye on that toy at the five. He's got a hold of it. Ruff's cold train tries to bark out the defensive alignment, but it's too little too late. Touchdown! Bellavo is into the end zone for the second time today. Bellavo, touchdown! You scored! You scored! Well done, buddy. <laughs> in Ruff's end zone, button his sack, Team Fluff's tail and hurts. And I don't think he and Briscoe are whispering pleasantries into Talon's ear. Button has shut down any passing opportunities for Team Fluff here. But Rascal breaks free, and he's in a scrum at the 45. He's got the toy. He scampers down the sideline, and Rascal hits Pater. Rascal, that's a touchdown! Great work, buddy. Steve Button shut down the pass, but Bandit took his eyes off Rascal just long enough for him to showcase his ground game. And Rascal is down in Fluff's own end zone performing his Rascal Rumba. That was great defense by Bandit, but Rascal just reminded this crowd why Fluff are the reigning champs 
and he extends their lead of 49-28. Moose has Elvira crying uncle on the 30-yard line. Oh, what a tackle. Let's see that one again. Moose is relentless. The fans are calling foul on this play. Gesso is up in pause. Where's the ref? Puppy foul, paw interference. Automatic first down. Justice has been served. And these fans are in a celebrating mood. Mack has the ball, and Matilda's going in for an interception. Whoa, doggy. He's in no mood for a fumble. Bellavo tackled to the ground as Duke swoops in to finish the job. Sage, what did you see on that play? I saw that Bellavo's signature swipe move didn't work for the first time today. Team Ruff might be on to him. Bellavo isn't just going to roll over and take it. He knows Ruff is on the comeback trail, and he's the one to stop it. Bellavo is off to the races towards the end zone with Ruff on his heels. He catches a pass to the 10, now at the five yard line. Touchdown, Bellavo. Well done, buddy. What an exciting way to end the third quarter. It's time to get out those seat belts and buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride to the finish. With that touchdown, Team Fluff gets back a little breathing room, pushing the score to 59-45 at the end of the third. Sonny breaks away from the tackle and rips downfield. Porsche's almost got him, but no, Sonny's out in front again. With nothing but daylight ahead of him, Sonny breaks for the end zone. It's the longest run from the line of scrimmage of the game. That little puggle punishes Porsche in the curves. He can't be caught. There goes Ascot on his 50-yard run. Despite Bess's dog in pursuit, he still picks up the yardage. Let's look at that again. Look how those legs never stop driving, and the agility as he corners the turn. That's why he's the leading rusher of the game so far. There is still time left for the Bluffs to tie the score. We've seen some great scoring plays in this year's Puppy Bowl. It's time now to take a look at our Subaru Drive of the Day. So far, there have been 16 touchdowns and one field goal in this game. We're on track for a new Puppy Bowl record. Kara started the scoring with this drive early in the first quarter. Brian Adams went into the Puppy Bowl record books with only the second field goal in history. That was back in the second quarter. But the Subaru drive of the day has to go to Falcor, the lumbering plumber spaniel who lit up the third quarter. His drive here inspired the Ruffs, who now hold a 24-point lead over the Fluffs. Pauly looks like he's going for it. Oh, was that a touchdown? Pauly seems to be celebrating, but let's take a closer look. The puppy play is under review. Oh, and he takes a detour just short of the goal line. Oh no, a frustrated Team Ruff scout has now stolen the ref's flag, and he's playing a game of keep away. What has gotten into these players? That's not the game ball, that's my flag. The ref is pleading with a disobedient scout right now, hoping to get this game back underway. But scout sidesteps his every move. Here we go, okay. All right, thank you. The ref finally has a hold of the flag, but scout won't let it go. My oh my. And you can expect another penalty after this incident, folks. Okay, that's a personal foul terrorizing the ref. My flag, okay? Game ball, go for it. With back-to-back -back penalties, this might be a good time for both teams to regroup. Now for their vocalizations. <laughs> and that motivational speech from Theodorable got under Sierra's leash. 
Sierra takes the direct snap. But Team Fluff sets up a canine curtain. Sierra regroups, and she could go the distance. Touchdown! Back on the field, Ruff's Oshi is mic'd up, and she wants to put this game away with just under a minute left. Hank takes the cue, and he's revved up, Scott. He's going to call the play here. It's a silent snap count, Rot. There's nobody home. And Hank puts it through the end zone for the field goal. Watch Hank dribble the ball soccer style before mailing it in. Incredible footwork by the big fella. It seems like Team Fluff's Rory got the message. He's on a toy. He avoids a tackle. Now he's at the 30, the 20, and he scores! Touchdown! Back on the gridiron, Ruff's Winter wants to slay a dragon, but he has a combatant in Team Fluff's Dawson. Dawson zeroes in on a new toy, cuts to the sideline, gets a huge block from Parfait, and he scores! Touchdown! Team Fluff now leads 21-7. It's first down at the 30-yard line, and already we've got a face-off on the field. Matilda's not going to let this ball go without a fight. And Matilda breaks away from O.C. at the 30. Her prize makes for a nice chew toy. Osi has gained control of the ball. He's got all the right fluff. Kara continues to shoulder the burden for the yellow team, Fluff. And she loves that blue bird. <laughs> Meanwhile, Steve is trying to spark a drive for the rough team. He's on the 40, the 30. He's down to the 10. Steve's finding out that nobody takes Kara's blue bird. At midfield, Graham for Team Fluff and Fiona for Team Rough have a grudge match over the rope toy. It was a flea flicker play all along because Bubba's on the 10-yard line now with the toy. And he scores. Touchdown, Team Rough. That's you, Bubba. Soak it in. That's the first touchdown for Team Rough. Bubba has his first score as a professional puppy. And here we go. Noodle takes possession, but it's snatched away by Maybell and Team Fluff has control. Looks like things are getting a little personal out there. I guess this is what you call sniffing out the competition. Down on the field, Team Fluff's Maggie isn't exactly throwing herself into the game. Looks like she's another contender for the Underdog Award. Stay tuned to find out who takes away that coveted title. Hold on, Rod. Daisy has the toy. And she's headed down the sideline. But wait, she pulls a puppy reverse and goes downfield, and she's gone right into the end zone. Touchdown! She's smoking fast. I wonder if the other pups felt the breeze when Daisy blew by them. All right, Daisy, good job on the touchdown. Fluff's Duncan and Ruff's Clarence are back at it, and there's a bit of pandemonium on the field right now as both teams battle for the championship. Crumpet takes cover back in the tunnel. He isn't sure what play to call or which direction to run as the pups on the field continue to scrap. Duncan now has Clarence's back against the wall, literally. But Clarence paws back, and Crumpet looks more and more concerned as time continues to tick away. Duncan and Clarence are now engaged in a heated struggle for a chew toy at the 40. Oh, my goodness, what a game! And Crumpet is back out on the field. Rocky Road and Ferris get involved in the scuffle. 
and a huge takedown by Clarence. <gasps> Holy cow, it's the Wild West out here, Scott. The clock winds, Crumpet challenges for the toy, but Rocky Road tucks it away with both paws. He waits. There's a loose ball in the 25. Crumpet's got it. He scores. Touchdown. But Rocky Road follows suit. Touchdown. I've never seen anything like this. He rumbles into the end zone right before time expires. What a finish.